From one brilliant guitarist to the next, we are covering Neil Young again. It's been a minute since I have covered some Neil Young. This is actually probably his most popular track. This hit the top of the Billboard US charts. Apparently, fun fact, Bob Dylan was not a fan of this track. Although he was a fan of Neil Young, he felt as if this song sounded a bit too much like him. So interesting little fact for you there. Of all of Neil Young's songs I've heard so far, I think Cortez the Killer has been my favorite. I love that the first like two minutes of that track were just building up the atmosphere. It's just literally guitars. And Neil's got that fantastically off kilter style. You know, he, his guitaring sounds um, quirky and unique and off in a way, if you want to call it. But it fits so well with the way he writes music and builds up imagery. Um, great writing too by Neil. So I'm super excited to get into this one. Hope you guys enjoy the reaction. Here we go. This is Heart of Gold by Neil Young. If you do have a second, hit the like button, maybe share it with a friend or subscribe if you haven't done so already for more reactions and breakdowns of tracks just like this. Already like the vibe of this. I wanna live, I wanna give. I've been a miner for a heart of gold. Great line. This as well. There's something very, very unique about Neil Young's music in the sense that the music, maybe it's the way he constructs it, perhaps the way he writes that sounds wise the music sounds like it has something to offer you you know with substance something meaty to to get your hands onto and it's i think perhaps it's mostly down to his writing man because it's so so fantastic there's aspects of it that are just like his guitar playing to to me you know it's it's quirky it's unique it's off you always you almost don't know what it means all the time, but damn, does it make you feel something. Check this line out. I've been a miner for a heart of gold. It's these expressions I never give that keep me searching for a heart of gold. Like, what does he exactly mean by this? I'm not too sure, but wow, does it sound beautiful and poetic. Um, I also love what he's doing with his guitar playing. I don't know what it is. It's called in... Um, in the git you know as a guitar player but in drumming when you end like a uh, like eight bars you end it with what's called a fill right he does that but the guitar version of it i'll back up a little bit and try and highlight what i mean but he does it at the end of like a, a couple of bars i think he does a little accent or something really interesting and i love what he does every time so i'll back it up and try and catch it Right there. I've been to Hollywood, I've been to Redwood, I crossed the ocean for a heart of gold. I've been in my mind, it's such a fine line. What that line? Keeps me searching for a heart of gold, and I'm getting old. Keeps me searching.
almost left that mistake in. Keep me searching for a heart of gold. You keep me searching and I'm growing old. Keep me searching for a heart of gold. I've been a miner for a heart of gold. Beautiful track, absolutely beautiful track. And it's very like heartwarming to me that this hit number one, because it's good to see good music do so well. I've got a couple of things to say. Um, firstly, the, the, I want to one day, the image that I see in my head, I want to one day be listening to this track, like with my feet up on like a, on like a, a, a rocking chair or something. And like over like a wheat field or like a cornfield. That's what I see in my head. And I imagine like Neil Young in his own rocking chair with his guitar strumming along to this track. Um, really fantastic writing once again. And I can see the connection between Young and, and um, Dylan because Dylan does a similar thing where it's through his writing, man. It's very unique that writing can be so good that even if it's not sung and read, it makes you feel a way. He had a line there where he said, I've been to Hollywood, I've been to Redwood, I which is, I'm guessing he's talking about like, um, you know, the opposite of city life, right? Redwood forests. I crossed the ocean for a heart of gold. I've been in my mind. It's such a fine line. Like, what does he, what does he exactly mean? I've got some ideas of what he means, um, but why was it beautifully put it's just so well put so poetically done and that kind of reminds me the one hip-hop artist so there's a couple um, that i think of who can do a similar thing just through their writing and it's kendrick lamar for me because he has lines like that that make me feel away i'm gonna look this up really quickly and make sure i skip it in the edit so let me just look this line up here we go i found it i'll put it on the screen for you guys as well in the edit and this is this is what i mean right kendrick lamar is one of those brilliant writers to me he's the closest thing to like dylan that we have in hip-hop he has this line from his track called cartoon cartoons and serial it's a brilliant song it's about him growing up and sort of witnessing violence all around him you know his father was a gang member and he kind of escaped through um as a kid through uh, cartoons, watching cartoons. So that's what the track is about. And he's got this line in there. He says, not to worry, every warrior will come and see euphoria. And that's a covenant that I put on every tribe. Like, what does he exactly mean here? Now, I've got some ideas about what he means. Not to worry, every warrior will come and will come and see euphoria. Like this is the idea that sold to him as a kid. You know, if you're a gangster, if you join a gang, then you can find euphoria, some release. And that's a covenant I put on every tribe. Is he saying it's a curse? Is it a good thing? Like, what does he exactly mean by that? And it's lines like that that Neil Young has, which they're just brilliant, man. They're so well put and I can see why. Dylan was like sort of jealous. He, he said something about if it sounds like me, it is me or something like that I was reading. Um, but brilliant track overall. And like I was saying, um, guitar playing is fantastic. I love the vibe. He had a great groove. And the fact that this hit number one on the billboards is uh, great to me. It's great to see good music was doing well in, in the 70s or so when this was released. So two thumbs up again. Love Neil Young's music. Wow. 